Okay. What I'm going to do today is decode some AIS traffic from ships, boats, and there's a few programs I'm going to be using. And uh, this is the information about AIS. It's pretty simple. Um, the data comes in on two frequencies. Here's the data right here coming in. And that's on 161.975. There's another frequency, 162.025. And this is um, kilohertz or megahertz, whatever you want. Okay, I'm tuned to 161.975 megahertz, all right? It's FM and FM. I've got the filter at 12K. And uh, make sure you have this off, DEM. Now to decode AIS, I'm going to use a program and it's called AIS Mon. And it's a freeware program. You download it. And this is how I set it up. You have to have a BB audio virtual cable, okay, and set it to that. Sample rate, 48,000. Don't worry about this. And this is the IP port. Put this in. This number right here. Okay. Now, the other program I'm going to be using is OpenCPN for the maps. And all you do is put the first part of this number in. and the second part on another line I'll show you and that's really it now I'll click it and it's going to start decoding and uh, it'll settle down and uh, I usually get around 95 or 97 uh, percent it's up to 88 now. And uh, that's pretty good. So, that's all you do with AIS Mon, okay? I'm going to stop this. Now I'm going to show you. This is OpenCPN, all right? And this is a map I downloaded. By the way, there's lots and lots of um, YouTube videos that will show you how to set this up and um, how to get a map for your area. This is my area here. I live in Fort Erie, Ontario, right here. So I'm right on, uh, really, the Niagara River goes up here to Niagara Falls to Lake Ontario and I'm right on the mouth of Lake Erie. Now all these symbols here are hits that I'm getting and this is one here this is another one, this is another one, and I'll show you what these are later, okay? And it does a really good job. Um, I haven't gotten anything out here in the lakes yet. 
but uh, that would be 20 miles right here for me. And uh, I am getting hits. Now to set this up, all I do is go here, connections, and there's that number. There's the first part of it and a network port. So you have to set one up, okay, and enable that. All you do is, when you come in here, add a connection and put this information in. And let's see. The charts I downloaded. Again, there's um, YouTubes that will show you how to do that. Connection, ships. I didn't really touch anything here. User interface. I really left it as is right now. There's plugins. I left everything as it is. Um, so, that's really about it. And you can see I'm getting the hits here. So I'm getting a good signal here on 161.975, nice and strong. Uh, I'm using a disc cone antenna. I have a loop antenna from my HF frequencies. That works pretty good. But I switch to my uh, disc cone and I get a better signal. I'll switch over to the other frequency. And that is... 162.025 and I'm getting a good signal on there too. Now I don't understand the difference between the two 161.975 and 162.025. I think it's the same information. They just split it between two uh, frequencies. Maybe somebody can answer that question for me. Okay. <clears throat> Let me show you something here. Now, if I click on this, I get a number. You see that number there? If I target query, this is what I get back. It's underway. It's not really that interesting is it so there's a better way of doing this instead of clicking on that and I'll show you all I do is click on this copy target MMSI number okay that number that popped up I copied that now what I'm gonna do <clears throat> open my web browser Oops, sorry, wrong one. <laughs> okay. And go into Google and paste that number into Google. Hit enter. And there is the information right there. It tells you what it is. Now, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. But I'm going to click on this. And this is a nice site here. And it gives you the information. Okay. Right here. Also, here. It's got a picture up here. I'll show you that later. Scroll down. There's the picture of the ship. More information here. Different pictures. Now that's cool. It's better than that other thing. Recent port of calls. Here it is right here. Even tells you the current value. Isn't that cool? So, as I said, this is really nice. Now, let me get rid of that. That's the ship right here. Now I'm going to go up here. Here's another number. Copy target. 
We're going to go back in here, click on this. Now, yesterday, these are all the ships and boats that I found that I had targets on. I'm going to punch that number in and no record file. So let's go back and try another one. Okay, the Vermont. I'm going to copy, go here, and punch that one in. Let's see. Enter. And there it is right there. I picked that up yesterday. Click on it. Again, it's got a picture up here. It's a tugboat. All the information. Down here. Tells you it's a tugboat. Here's the information here. And here's a nice picture of it. So you know exactly what you're looking at. This happened to be in the winter time. There's a grain elevators over in Buffalo. They're tied up there. So let's go in try another one. Right click, copy target, go back, paste it in, Thomas R. Morris. Again, I picked that up yesterday. And there it is. It's nice to know all this information of what you're picking up. Another tugboat. Here's some nice pictures of it. Pushing a barge. There we go. Let's go back and that's it. Um, I'm very close to the Niagara River, Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, so I pick up uh, quite a bit of stuff in the summertime. Of course, in the winter time, I'm not going to pick up very much. Everything shuts down. Lake Erie freezes over. Lake Ontario. All the big lakers in that um, tie up for the winter and uh, for maintenance. All the small boats are docked. But I thought I'd uh, share this with you and um, see if you're interested. Again, there's two frequencies, 161.975 and 162.025. So you might want to give it a try when you've got nothing to do. Crack open a beer and mess around with it. Um, again, um, two um, things that I'm using are AIS Mon okay and um, open CPN again there's populating again and it picks up some uh, target let me see there's a base station there um, let's see what this is. Don't know what that is. There's buoys out there um, that you'll pick up too. Okay. 
是。Did we do this one? I don't know. Um, let's see. Okay. So let's go back here. And this is the stuff I picked up yesterday. Let's see, Nancy. See what Nancy is. Okay, that's a lot of range. Let me go back. And hindsight, Gene Reed. Let me see what this one is. Okay, nice little boat here. Beautiful. So that's about it. Um, hope I've helped out a little bit. Um, give it a try. You might enjoy it. Thank you and take care.